Yo, 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 what's up? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Rolo back with another video. And tonight we might do some reaction. We're going to get into some reaction uh, tonight. Uh, we're going we gonna to do some reaction. Man, I All right, so you get out. You know what I'm saying? Big deal on the uh, No Jumper podcast. You can react to that. Uh, all right, the first, the first we're going to re uh, react to that boy Brick Baby. I don't know if y'all heard, but that boy Brick Baby cashed out on No Jumper yesterday. I'm sh I'm sure. That boy, oh, he <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, right? Watching this sports shit. That shit was hella long, and it sounded like he was just circling, circling the wagon. You feel me? Still don't want to say nothing bad about bro. I really, I really think he was, he was afraid, he was afraid to kiss. So what is Click Up? Click Up is an all. I think he really was re really was afraid to catch the fade with DW. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to squabble with DW or whatever. Are you good at rapping? Yeah, 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 you yeah. motherfucking yeah. buster, yeah. nigga. Pissed off all the traffic? I'm pissed off about a motherfucker running three day content. The what up, nigga? You like hit me hanging like that? Yeah. What up? I'm For one, let me tell you something, bro. I don't understand why these niggas get mad about people running content, bro. Y'all in a space of content. Y'all all in this shit for the content. All these niggas get down to it is in it for the content. No matter what y'all think or whatever, these niggas is in it for the content. I like part of me believe this is for content. Trying to figure out why motherfuckers still running content on a conversation that got leaked from this motherfucker and keep on trying to keep on digging some shit up out my boy. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Dead homies. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Six so nigga, niggas energy is what a nigga energy. See, and then when you talk like this nigga always dead homies on the six out, like nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Nothing wrong with that. But if y'all know what's, what this is stemming from, then y'all know that he should have had this same energy when bro asked for what he asked for. And this is what this is stemming for. He didn't stand on business then. You feel me? He didn't stand on business then. Now niggas is pulling his card. Now he want to like, you know what I'm saying? Now he want to stand on business when he should have been standing on business with DW when DW said that fuck shit. Now DW standing on his business, and when Brick didn't stand on his business, now Brick mad. You feel me? Like DW standing on his business, like for his set, you feel me, or whatever he ride for. Guess he insane. I don't know what he is. I don't want to say because I don't know. And I know Rolling, uh, that this dude over here, Brick Baby, is a Rolling Sixty, right? Everybody know that, right? But at the same time, though. Uh, the vibe that he gave off was he didn't want to really squab with DW. Talk, kept talking about he was homie and shit. But we gonna continue. Energy is, hey, this break. is my boy right here. Yes. Hold on, no, three days in a row, gang. You Go been ahead. here three yeah. days in a row getting asked the same question it's after like, we like, talked. Like nigga, I still ain't watched it. I don't know what I said to cuz. Nigga, I was higher than motherfucker. That ain't no excuse, nigga. I know one thing. The first time I asked you, first time I picked up the phone, I said, bro. I he said he didn't even watch it. But he's about to. But I can remember one thing only that was derogatory that I said. Did I or did I not? Speak on it. On See, he said that he didn't watch it. For one, I'm just dissecting this video little by little. Let's go. It's an eight minute video, so I'm dissecting little by little. He said that he didn't watch the video, but then he just said in the same breath that, hey, when I call you, didn't I say that I only said one derogatory thing? Let's get back into it. On 6 so Crip. Everybody else, like, it's cool. Like, all this shit, it was a Monday show. It was a show yesterday. I love you, Adam. I'm not tripping off of you. It, it ain't nothing like that, cuz a nigga frustrated right now, bro. Because y'all digging shit. If a nigga say he ain't gonna watch it, a nigga ain't gonna watch it. And the nigga who leak it is fuck a nigga forever. And any nigga that ride with cuz on the dead homies, it is what it is, nigga. On 6 so Crip, nigga. And me and cuz are crashy niggas together. Or nigga, by myself, nigga, on the dead homies. Where every niggas wanna meet, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no HK Turtle. I'm, I'm gonna give you your shout out today, cuz. On the dead homies, nigga. On 6 0 Crip, cuz you a cop, nigga. You the police, nigga. You reach it. You want, nigga, you doing interviews with Alex Alonzo, this, that, and that, trying to get your shit off the ground. On the dead homies, you got the address, nigga. To right here, right now, like y'all pulled up the last time, nigga. Niggas pull up. On the dead homies, pull up, nigga. On 6 0, cuz ain't no 40s coming to the 60s, pushing no issues. Yeah. Nigga, on rolling 60s, nigga. Ain't near 40 coming to the 60s, nigga, with no type of drama, nigga. Why you sound like he about to cry though? Like he is so upset that he's about to cry. 
Let me tell you something about these gangbangers, bro. And no disrespect to none of y'all gangbangers, because gangbanging is a commitment. You hear me? It's a commitment. But these niggas is sensitive, bro. Look at these niggas' faces. Look at these niggas. These niggas is like hurt over some shit that they can really get the fuck over as men, as as adult fucking men you can get over something like this like y'all don't have to resort to violence and you over 30 fucking five you feel me like that's crazy over words that's about us about something that you don't own something that yeah you like be like yeah man that's my that's that's my hood blah 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 but let's be honest here let's be quite frankly honest here and this is something that I had to get into my brain too because I wanted to be a gangbanger back in the day. I, was, I wanted to be a Five Deuce Hoover or a Rolling 60 Crip. I swear to God, back in the day, I was this close to joining, this close. But then now, in hindsight, you look back and you say, We fighting over a hood that we would never go to. Think about that. I'm from Houston, bro. I'm from Houston, bro. So, me representing Rolling 60s or Five Deuce, them is Cali games, bro. When the fuck am I going to go? rep and go ride for the gang in california on real t on turf on that real shit you feel me like stand on business type shit no i'm, I'm not i won't if you go to if you're a gangbanger and you go from your city to california to go gangbang you a fucking idiot that's all i'm saying you too old niggas get to a point where you too old for this like for this like like look at this nigga face right here. he really fucking upset i don't know how old this nigga is but he's really upset because this said this nigga said that something about his set was off brand or something. That is what he's mad for. You feel me? Because Brick said his set was off brand, whatever. Some shit that you can get over. That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit's crazy. Oh S C nigga. Only 40 come through that motherfucker is Pee Wee and Lil Vernon, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. Nigga, if you niggas got underlying conditions, nigga, hate the hood, nigga, on West Side Rollers, say that, nigga. On the dead homies, because y'all know what it is, nigga. And a nigga play ball. Bitch, the only reason I ain't come outside and kill one of you niggas, because cause I was in front of these white niggas. Look at this nigga face, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. He was literally about to cry, bro, about this shit, bro. Dead homies, nigga. Me and the homies would have crashed, nigga. On six so, nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that, nigga. Shout out Devil Donut, nigga, and my real 40s, cuz. These niggas 68ers, though, nigga. On six so, and this my homeboy, nigga. On the hood. And whatever me and my homeboy gotta go through, nigga, to clear what we gotta clear, nigga, on six so, he gonna always be my homeboy, nigga. So you gonna catch the, so that mean they gonna catch the fade? Because, and then that's stupid, too. You catch a fade over that? With your homeboy? When you said some derogatory stuff about his little group or his gang or whatever, I don't want to dis I don't want to quotations, but he wrote in sixty so. But he said something about his his gang derogatory and Brick didn't even come off as this. So for one, DW giving the wrong energy, cause really Brick brushed it when he said what he said to Brick. Give me an NAP. You feel me? I don't like to say stupid shit on 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 this shit, bro. That's just stupid. But when he said that, when he said that, and Brick said, man, you good, and he brushed it under the table, and he and Brick was holding the heat for DW. Because really, niggas supposed to be mad at DW. DW said a nigga should be going after DW on a squabble him. This should be DW crashing out, not Brick Baby. I'm telling you that right now. Not, not I don't know his name, Shitty, whatever. But it shouldn't be him crashing out. It shouldn't be him. It sh this should be DW crashing out. You feel me? Because of that situation. But now, a phone call leak with Big Baby saying some shit like off-brand shit. And now DW kind of, to me, is going overboard with the shit. You feel me? Cause be and it's the only reason why he's doing that, though, is because he's seen the hate that Brick Baby got when he didn't stand on business. Let's continue. It don't matter whatever it is, nigga. But the energy that, nigga, from now on. Nigga, keep on running content on my name. Nigga, I'm putting Kill Squad in the street. Nigga, on 6 0. Y'all forgot I had Chili, nigga. Nigga, on 6 0. Nigga, go, go, go look up. Nigga, what, what, what shit he worth, bitch? Dead uh, homies. Nah, no, fuck all don't that. Give too much. Mm -hmm. Don't nigga, give him too much. No, that, nigga, I, I nigga niggas ran content three days I think in that's a row. The nigga, energy. Fuck a nigga and they mama, nigga. I think that's Dead the homies. <laughs> and their kids, nigga. 
Six O. Nigga, fuck? I'm tripping, cuz. Cause they keep on trying to, they digging. I know it the didn't girl, work. I see the same Bro, thing, cuz. Ain't that nigga asked for a fade from you. Every nigga that got on the phone with you turned it down. You nigga scary Larry ass niggas, cuz on SC. Niggas picking and choosing. Nigga, you picking and choosing, nigga. Selective politicking, man. That is the worst type of nigga, though, bro. The nigga who is on the set and would, like, overlook, like, see how DW did whatever he did. He's, like, that's what he's saying, though. That's what he's saying right now. That's what Brick's saying. When when DW did what he did, niggas got on the phone talking all this sweet shit. But then Brick Baby did what he did. Now niggas want to wanna crucify a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, but I think that's because of... I don't even know why, but I feel like that when you like when you in that type of gang life, everybody about that life. So you just have to pick on who you can, who you can pick on, who you don't, who you not really sure is about that life. Like niggas probably seen DW get down. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't probably seen Brick get down, but they know he bought that though. But they but they haven't seen him get down. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that's really regular too, cause like if me and my partner go out somewhere and I ain't seen him get down before. I'm going to be skeptical to be like, can this nigga really get down? But it, it versus my partner, when we got down already, me and my partner, we got down and whooped on some niggas already. So I know, like, okay, he going to get down. See what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, they're not sure. They know, but they're not sure. So they going to pick on you because they know DW with that shit. They don't dead homies, you niggas want to have something to say about me? On the dead homies, I really sure. boogie down on yeah, SC. Stop sure. playing with me. Nigga, I don't give that energy up here. Bro, I'm the boogie man. You niggas know. You bitch ass niggas from the hood that keep talking. Y'all know why y'all talking, cuz. Cuz the boogie man spoke, nigga. And y'all scared, nigga. You niggas want to do shit on camera. But it's over with. I'm, I ain't finna keep going up, nigga. But the energy is what it is, cuz. And on the dead homies, send the link to cuz. On the dead homies, be outside, nigga. Play that shit today, nigga. On but ain't the police... Bro, I always think that the police be watching everything. So, like, as I'm doing this stream, I might get, like, 10 views on this shit when I upload it on, on YouTube. But guess what? I still feel like the, the feds are still <laughs> watching. So for him to sit here and be like, pull up, kill squad. Homies outside, on the dead homie, on the set. Uh, uh. He not scared that he going to violate something, a parole violation, a probation violation, something, dog. Like, when I'm, I ain't going to lie, when looking at this and feeling this vibe now, re-watching it and shit, because I watched the first, but I really didn't, I didn't really get into it much. If you, like, I didn't really sit down. I was watching my kids, and I was listening to it, so I really didn't get into all this. But now sitting down watching it, it feel like this, w this would have been his last show, huh? Right. And we wouldn't have this. Right? It, this would feel like this would be his last. It's like an ultimate crash out. Like, he's telling niggas to pull the fuck up to where he works. To where he works. Not to where he... Okay, fuck where you live. That's where you lay your head down every day. Whatever, but... Where you work is where you go get your chili, where you go get your increments, and this is where you, this is what you're saying, pull up to my job, nigga. Damn. SC, nigga. How much federal? On hood, they gonna be calling your ass little Draco, nigga. They had homies, and it is hey. what it is. You niggas the cops, nigga. Hey, Brick, we ain't gonna do that, though. I know we ain't gonna be calling you little Draco, none of that fuck shit. What the fuck does that mean? That shit kind of lame. That's lame, bro. We ain't gonna do that Draco slandering though, bro. That's just, I just had to stop it there and say that. That's Dead homies, nigga. And the nigga who posted the other shit about me and a blick, nigga, cop, cop ass whack, bitch ass whack, nigga on the hood calling me Mr. AK 47. Bitch, I got open cases, nigga. Nigga, stop playing with me, cuz. On the dead homies, I ain't going, I ain't leaving my kids for nothing, nigga. Come on, six up. Nigga, gotta stop hey. playing with me, cuz. You doing good, so, man. I Talk about it, talk about it. You ain't leaving these kids for shit to talk about it. But Wax said some police shit like that? Wax 100 said some police shit? What? That is federal police. I met you in the jail, man. They Come on, bro. I like the I like the I like the out, nigga. Yeah, right next door to me, man. He know what's going on, man. So. Come on, cuz. On 6 0. Niggas keep playing them internet game now, nigga. Ball in your court, nigga. SC, nigga. Niggas hate the hood. Say something, nigga. Yeah.
Yeah. I like this podcast. I shit, think that's. I think that's. Nigga on ass. I think that's about the hood, energy nigga, on hood. Nigga, stop tapping me, cuz. About up? that shit, nigga. I, I know, bro. I on know, hood, stop but, tapping but, me, nigga. But, 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 nigga, they gonna see this real energy. Look, yeah, yeah. Be with me all the time, cuz. On hood, I already crash shit. Bro, you know the truth. Look, I know the truth. You said what, look, you said you said enough to niggas, cuz. Don't Bro, that shit got me hot, nigga. He's down though. You said enough. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He this nigga barely tapping him in the back. Hold on. Relax, nigga. You doing too much right now. This relax. He talking about you already know me, I crash out. You gonna crash out on your homie that you ride around with every day. He just said that. We ride around together every day. These niggas ride around and you about to crash out, but then DW said, stand down. Nigga said, stand the fuck down like a dog. Ease down. And you said, that shit got me hot, good. Is he not scared of DW? Like, am I tripping right now? Because right now, for one, he should be, st him and, if he feels so strongly about this, DW as well, if you feel so fucking strongly about him calling your hood off brand, bro. Get down. What you sitting there in the fucking seafoam? Feeling with a fucking frown on your face like a bitch. You're not a bitch, DW. I don't mean that. But I don't mean that. You're not a bitch, bro. Erase that. You're not a bitch, right? But I'm not backtracking. But he's not a bitch, though. Everybody know that, right? But he's sitting there acting like a girl right now. Right now, at this, at that very moment, what I'm watching on this camera right here. He's acting like a female. He mad in his feelings upset emotional you feel me why this nigga right here is scared of dw because he's talking about this my homeboy this my homeboy this my homeboy this my homeboy right but let's be honest here dw yeah he said he said some shit too but he said he also said this though he feel like cuz the only one he got like he the only one cuz got that what he said that's what he said so you got to think about is he really your friend or is he in this shit for sympathy? He doing that shit because he fucking sorry for you, nigga. Nobody fuck with you, so he's sorry for you. And he fucking want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's sorry for you. Like, that's some stupid ass shit. No, you said enough. Yeah. Because really, you know, niggas can't even tell who homies at this point. This, no, like, no, no, but no. Okay. This, this Listen, niggas can't even tell who homies at this point. Well, get the fuck down, nigga. Go get off on brick, baby. Still off on brick right now. Go ahead, since you feel like he ain't your homie no fucking mo. Over because he said some, because he said some stupid ass shit that he put. Okay, in brick in brick defense, and I, this is not nothing like uh, like I'm being taken up for him or nothing like that. Cause I'm not. But in his defense though, let's be honest. In his defense, the nigga be high all the goddamn time. I've. Bro, Brick always high. I seen one podcast. I was showing my wife. He did think of eyes like this. Did you just see? I can see. <laughs> That's how his eyes was. I wish I could find that pod, bro. But his eyes was like that. Let me find that pod. You feel me? But his his eyes was like that. Let me show you. Brick baby. No jumper fan. Fan. Yeah, this one right here. Look, I'm going to show you that. It's one part of this where you can see him. Look. Look at him. He is, he is literally asleep. He's, look, bro. Like, in his defense, in his defense, Brick be high out his damn mind. You feel me? Brick be high out of his damn mind. Probably off of perks, though, huh? Look at him. Look. This is, look. Nigga high as hell, bro. That's, that's what I'm saying, though. My thing, gang. And you know I love you. This this is what they want, right? So They got right. it, nigga. Use no. a bitch, nigga. So, pull up, look, nigga. Look, nigga, put your gonna, life on the look, line, nigga. But, but look, I'm sick, so put look, your me, life on the line, nigga. Look, me, I'm from yeah. SC over here, nigga. Stop playing for I, I know, really do I know, it. I, stop telling me you. about them, bro. I know, I know. Before I really I, do I know, it, cuz. Bro. Stop, stop talking to me about them. Man, cuz, I'm sick, so Crip. Stop playing with me, cuz. On the hood. Don't nobody tell me nothing, nigga. Don't nobody tell me nothing, nigga. On six, so stop giving them niggas the address in. Stop giving them niggas the address in. Calm down, bro. Uh, chill out. Stop giving niggas the address, nigga. Wait, wait, who giving? 
the security give me the address the little bitch man i'm like what nigga? hey i'm oh, hood you a part of the security team nigga stop giving a fuck nigga's the address nigga i just told you stop talking to me while i'm mad nigga oh and see stop talking to me nigga on roman 60 stop hey. talking to me nigga. Hey. Man, stop talking. Niggas were crashing out. Oh, earlier, Gordy. Yeah, yeah, let him do his thing, bro. Stop playing with me, cuz. We ain't got nothing to say about none of that. I'm not doing no Gordy, stop. Gordy. I'm supposed to get rid of it. Hey. Gordy. 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 hey, don't crash out. Yeah, Gordy. Don't, Gordy, come on. D Dub, it's too late. He done crashed out. The stream, they done tried to turn y'all off already. He crashed out. He crashed out. He's beyond the point of crashing out. I think. Let me. T okay, now let's paint a visual here. If 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 a nigga say I'm finna crash out, this is what crashing out is. He is 100% in his heart crashing out right now, and he's like out of his mind. He probably sober as hell too. Because when, usually when niggas crash out, it's, they going to be sober as fuck. Because when you sober, bro, like, like, like sober, like right now I'm drinking a beer. So I'm not, I'm not irritated or nothing. And my kids sleep, I'm just chilling, making my little pie, you feel me? So right now I'm in a good space as of right now, right? My wife at work, she's good, right? So I'm, so I'm kind of at peace, I'm, I'm at ease, right? I'm not worried, right? But... Say if I was more in a more stressful and I didn't have a beer or a cigarette or something in the more stressful. <laughs> yeah, you might see Benji crashing out. God damn it. <laughs> crashing out too. Because it's because small things irritate you. When you but the moment he smoke a blunt, he gonna go back and say, Damn, I really crashed out. Like I really did that. I really crashed out, and and he not gonna. Uh, maybe he regret it. Maybe he don't. Let me see. I'm bro, not doing no, that. Don't say nothing. On SC, I'm not talking. I'm not doing no talking, nigga. On SC, nigga. I'm not doing no talking. Hey, matter of fact, look. On hood, nigga. I'm not doing none of that, nigga. I don't care, nigga. Nigga, they want to keep running content up here. This what y'all want? Keep running content. Nigga, on hood, nigga. Niggas got addresses. Niggas got drops on me. Nigga, when I drop my nuts, nigga, respect it, nigga. On the hood. Pull the fuck up. Nigga, I be here till nine. On rolling. Hey, hey. On me? On rolling? Nah, man. Nah, he said he gonna be there till, till nine o'clock, bro. Till nine o'clock. Hey. We gotta cut it. We gotta cut it, gang. Uh, no statements. That's another week of no statements. Hey, you got his. He got his daughter. Don't he got his daughter with him? Yeah, he got his baby and all that. Hey, look, yeah, bro. Hey, look, come on, bro. Hey, 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 let's, hey, change the subject. Change the subject. Hey. Shout out. Shout, shout out to Brick. Hey, this. Hey, this. Hey, this been. A, hey, this been an episode of No Statements. Episode number nine. No, Gordy, Gordy, just let them handle that, Gordy. Nah, Gordy, you mean Gordy need the help, cuz. And what's so disturbing about this here? Right, right? DW said Gordy need to. Hey, you guys, get oh, my. he said Gordy need to help, cuz. Usually that'll be DW helping him. <laughs> Usually that'll be DW helping his ass. So that's kind of telling that he's like completely done with him over fucking saying some dumb shit. We about to hear. So we're about to hear this stupid shit that he got going on. Oh, okay, now let me be brick. It's the job. I'm going to be brick. On 6 so. Oh, my God. This, this nigga, bro. Oh, shit. On hood. On hood. On Don't see light. Like <laughs> I'm on niggas' Don't hands. Don't see light. <laughs> <laughs> niggas ain't here playing with me. <laughs> Why Brick Baby needs perks. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that, bro. Bro was sober as hell. I just, <laughs> I just said it, bro. Was sober as fuck, bro. Sober as fuck. Lost his mind. Went, went straight ape shit. What the fuck is he wearing on his goddamn head, bro? This nigga look like a fucking burnt broccoli. <laughs> that nigga look like a burnt broccoli, bro. What is up with you, dog?
Yeah, saving the form is amazing. <laughs> hey, they, hey, wait, that's and then crazy. he saved your blood in Ziploc too, though. My, you make my keep wife, it I would have put that bitch in the air. My wife asked me like, "Where the fuck the blood at?" <laughs> I'll put that bitch <laughs> in the air. Like Called him and be like, "Hey, bro, I smoked your shit." <laughs> no, I, actually, actually, I told Adam I love him. Adam was oh. the reason. I miss quotes. No, 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 yeah, he's the reason. All oh, right. He's the reason for all this shit. So, so you we scratching out on Adam I'm yesterday? Playing, playing, no. Yeah. Uh-uh. What you mean he the reason for all this shit? He like, is. You talking about for like all the... Bro, it's the, the whole shit is... Well, with that, I think he mean when Adam is the... Mean, I don't think he mean he's the direct reason why this is happening. Now. I think that he disturbs the pot so fucking much. You feel me? Like, if you watch this shit, he stirs the pot extremely too much sometimes. And I always thought that he would have gotten somebody killed, but I guess he hasn't. Maybe he has. Maybe he has. I don't know. But it seems like he threatened. It's thin line. Adam is no jumper. Thin no jumper been putting out all my personal business. Yeah. Now, when I drop my nuts on your platform, don't try to stop me. That's, that's where. That's and I've been angle. telling niggas that you could bring whoever up here that you want. I'm not dodging no wrecks, but when I crash out, I crash hard. Tight shit. So it's crash time or what? No, it ain't crash time. It ain't crash time. All right, well, niggas start cleaning it up. Don't invite my ops up here or nothing, because we smashing everything. Yeah. And kill squad, like I said, nigga. Once again, Part niggas two. don't want me to put kill squad in the street. Nigga, period. Now See, but how federal is that, though, to say some shit like that? Y'all don't want me to put kill squad in the street. Y'all don't want me to get kill squad in the street. Like, how federal of a statement could that fucking be? You feel what I'm saying? Like... What are you gonna say, nigga? You got niggas now it's outside? niggas sitting outside of my oh, job now. Lord. Now you, you guys got what you wanted. Pull up. It's niggas sitting outside now. They ready for all fuck shit. Any hey, fucked scary. up cars pull up here. Niggas getting Swiss cheese, nigga. The fi- Period. Like I said before in the other video, in the prior video to what he was saying, the feds are the feds is watching this shit. They just pull up and lock all them niggas up. I bet them niggas got guns and shit out there. What the? Now, fuck? I don't know who the fuck you thought I was. Yo. The whole world. I don't know who y'all think I am. It's really me, gang. I'm six o. This little shitty from six o. Cut the same nigga that was knocking niggas out in the that, county that, and poking on that's shit. That's what nigga. they were saying yesterday. They said that wasn't brick yesterday. They said that was that shitty. Was shitty. Yeah. They said shitty came out. We met shitty. See, I believe that he was re- that he's really about that. And the reason why he's crashing out is because he knows he's about that. But these niggas is like, that nigga ain't about shit. That nigga ain't putting no, like, you gotta, you gotta understand, dog. The toughest niggas got haters, bro. The toughest niggas would have the most haters because everybody want to see the tough nigga fall, bro. You feel me? Like, they ain't never, and they ain't gonna fight fair when it's the tough nigga. When it's the tough nigga, it's gonna be 30 niggas jumping on the tough nigga. 100%. It's gonna be 100 niggas jumping on the tough nigga. You feel me? That's what's going on. Like yesterday, I'm hood. I love being a square. I love being like you, Remo. I love being like you, Design. This nigga in the streets. But what I I love the other side of the world, bro. I he did not say this nigga here's in the streets. I want to be more like y'all. I done did that my whole life. This nigga in the streets. I'm in the streets. Fuck it. We I can't call because square. He's going through the same thing. I call him all the time. Facts. He been through all the LA drama. Is like shit. I've been shit. getting my money. I've been out of town. Niggas been hating me, but nigga, I ain't had no platform for I'm them sorry. to hate on me on. And that's what we talked about yesterday. You get what that I'm saying? I was still I was, getting I, used to that I, shit. Nigga been getting head on in the streets, but getting headed on with four million five point subscribers uh-huh. and every day you're on your phone on YouTube is different. It's different. Cause when you get yeah. hate in your hood, you can pull up, take a face, leave, and now it's mm-hmm. It's out of sight, out of it's mind. Down. I don't gotta come over here unless I'm handling some shit. Okay, but when it's on the internet, all every long. time you open your phone, yeah. and motherfuckers hear you. I disagree with that in a sense, but I agree with that in a sense because I agree that in the hood, if a nigga got a problem with me and we talking shit, it ain't gonna be too much internet talking. We could just meet up. We could, we could. You see the word? We could just meet up. It'd be that easy, right? But, but four point five. Million subscribers, right? Uh, 500k of them people saying fuck shitty, fuck shitty, fuck this nigga, fuck that, fuck that, making up random story. Like these dudes in the comments be making up random fucking story. Man, I know Brick, man, he a hoe. Da da da, 1992. Like you got to go through the comments and read them shits. Them shits be getting real personal, but they fake. But but if you if you're not strong minded and 
strong will, you will fall for that. You about it, niggas calling you, niggas DMing you. It's hard to deal with that shit. So he's still learning how to deal with that shit. You feel me? And that's what me and bro talked about yesterday. Big like, homies I get and all that. I was finna come to the house. I just didn't pull to LA. Yeah, like, me and bro, yeah, yeah, me? I pull up to my Like, I don't know how many of y'all ever post something on Facebook and your mama call you or your people reach out and be like, bro, you good? And then you, you respond with, that's just a song lyric. Like, come on now. Like, same shit. That's just, it's always gonna be somebody gonna be, be a critic. Like, just like I said just a while ago. He could be the toughest nigga ever. He could be knocking out niggas in the county, poking shit. Doing all. That's a crazy thing to say, pause. That's crazy to say, poking shit. That's crazy. So, I'm gonna say he was stabbing things as he, I'm just gonna assume. Literally, I'm just going to fucking assume that he was stabbing people and not literally poking them, right? Like I said, he could be the toughest dude, right? But that means nothing to somebody that don't freaking know you. Like, your whole set knows Brick is a real one, right? Brick gonna put something on the floor, right? But then niggas on the other side of the fucking... Other side of the fucking state... Don't know nothing about brick and they not scared of brick because they don't care about what brick put in, what work but brick put in. They don't care about none of that. And if you the toughest, if we take you down, then what's up? You feel me? Pop shit, couch, talking nigga, shit, you know? This really my little bro. Like, nigga, I really fuck with him because he always be in my corner. Niggas don't understand. I fuck with vibes, bro. I don't even care how yeah. tough. I could be tough enough for all of his gang if a nigga ain't tough enough. I know how to do that, too. I know the people I choose usually can can, can hold their own. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Because I know vibes, bro. A nigga could tell me anything about somebody, and I'm never going to believe it till I get around him and see it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, because everybody is macho man until you meet him. Facts. You get Same shit. He does saying everything I'm saying. And I, and yeah, you've seen the thing was watched, but I, I promise you I didn't not watch these things all the way through, right? But what he's saying is everybody's tough until it's that time. Like I, I've been, I've been in situations with friends, and I don't want to say their names, but I've been in situations with friends that talk shit, mad shit. Like they, they doing that, they with that shit. But when the time come, they not with it. You feel me? Like one time we was like, I could tell a story, real quick story time, right? One time we was just chilling. Me and my best friend, me and my brother, you feel me? That's my brother, really, uh, my partner, James. Shout out to James. You know what I'm saying? Real, real niggas from day one, right? Just chilling in my partner, then our partner, Tony. We was chilling with Nico, our partner, Nico. Then when our partner, Tony, walk up. We was chilling for about hours. Our partner, Tony, walks up, and then all of a sudden, when Tony, when T walk up, oh, yeah, t -t 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 -t, right? But in my head, I, I never got shot at, so I'm like, even if they were shooting at me, I would be like, damn, they must be shooting over there before I realized that they were shooting at me, right? Because I never got shot at before, right? Before then, the closest we got, the closest me and my partner got shot at, at was fucking with the Cholos. Like, we was on some reckless shit back then, fucking with the Cholos, fucking with a whole group of Cholos. But that's a story for a different day, right? So, so then we realized a nigga is shooting at us, like a 22 or some shit, because it's a t -t 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 -t, right? And then obviously, you just. Oh shit, so we just take off running. Ha, 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 running, right, running, right. My partner Tony just act like he dead. He just lay down. Like, literally, bro, as soon as this shit happened, he just laid the fuck down on the floor. Just laid there like he was dead. Me and Nico and, and James started running away from the crime, right? So then, like, my partner James, I give him this, bro. I give him this, my brother, bro. He found out who did that shit in less than five minutes. I never forget, bro. We went to the bar. He told his people what happened. They got on the phone five minutes later. They say it was. Da -da -da -da. I say what the hood talking, nigga? The hood talking, nigga. So, so I went. So, so we. So I know the nigga. I, I'm not gonna say his name, but I know the nigga though. Like he, 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 he acting like he cool and shit. I let him hit my blunt and shit one time, and shit like that. But he acting like he cool and shit. You feel what I'm saying? So he walk out. So you know, I'm like, nigga, what's up, man? Fuck all that bullshit. You was shooting at us or whatever. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then he started saying, like, shit, like, why would I shoot at y'all? Y'all my friends. And I said to him, straight up, nigga, for one, nigga, I ain't your friend, nigga. We smoke. You hit my blunt once, nigga. That's what I said to him. I said, nigga, you hit my blunt once, nigga. We is not friends, nigga. Don't classify me as you as friends. Be truthful and tell me what the fuck's going on. Do you know who, what's up, what's up? 
But before we went, but let me put this in there though. Before we went, I told Nico, bro. Nico had a gun, bro. My partner Nico, bro. I don't like the name drop, but my partner Nico had a gun, right? And my and I told my partner Nico, I said, give me the gun. He had a little revolver, a three fifty seven. I said, give me the gun. You know, you know what James said, my partner James. My partner James said, do not give him the gun. Cause James know I was gonna be on some bang shit and take that nigga the fuck out. Shooting at us. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You feel me? When I'm on that, when I'm up here, I'm up here and ask anybody, bro. I'm not the toughest nigga, but you can ask anybody I've been with. I'm going to be on 10 hundred. Fuck 10. I'm going to be on 10 hundred. They're going to have to take me out right then and there. You feel me? So, so James like, nah, don't give him the, don't give him the shit. Because, nah, Rolo crazy. Don't give him the shit. You feel me? So, he didn't give it to me, right? So I'm me. I'm confronting him. I'm confronting him, man. And then he's like, "You friend?" I say, "Nigga, we is not friends. We you hit my blunt one time, blah blah blah, blah right? Blah 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 blah." Say. So then I'm like, "Nigga, catch my fade, nigga. Like, catch my fade, nigga. You feel me?" He's like, "Why would I fight you, nigga? Can now nah, what's the, now? You got to fight me. Come on, I stole that nigga. James said his shit. His shit was purple. Like this whole area in his face was purple. I hit him so hard." Broke his shit. Mm, broke his shit, right? So as I'm as I'm turning around taking off my shirt, I hear I hear no 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 no. He said he said what with this he said with this gun and he hit it and he took it out and he hit me across my shit. <laughs> <laughs> One time I don't know if y'all can see it. It's, it's somewhere on this side, niggas. Right? You see that? Y'all see that? Right there. Right. Clock me. I'm. All I remember after that was my uncle yelling at my at my partner James. Literally, I don't to this day I don't recall getting home, nigga. To this day, I always say that nigga could have put ten in me, and that would have been it for me, nigga. Right then and there, you feel me? I don't know what the fuck happened. I would love like me and my partner James. We don't really talk about that because that was like crazy night. You feel me? Like we did some crazy things, right? But that was crazy night. But let me go ahead. But this that's not a hit no there. But th- I'm, that's just tied into all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little old nigga. My name ring bells, man. Pay attention. I don't want to live that life. Then, to clear something up off the rip, I told Gordy to troll like that at the beginning of the show to oh, the world. Yeah, yeah I right, oh, yeah, so look. Niggas was mad at Gordy. They was like, yo, everybody. That nigga Gordy, and you know him. You know when he's playing. I said, I said, you know when he's playing. If you know me, you know. You know, saying, look, Gordy look, was before we break shit. all that down, yeah. I said, this is a nigga who rides around with Brick every day. Yeah. Do you yeah. think yeah. he was going to say anything on his show that they hadn't already talked about? It's common sense. So, you like, can tell all the homies point. and my fans coming for Gordy, listen, I never watched, can I be honest with y'all? I didn't watch the Tuesday show till I got on the plane yesterday. Let me tell you what I'm doing here. So, I never seen the first question of the Tuesday show was about this drama that, that was just talked about on Here We Go Again. It kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Because if a nigga asked me about my hood being off brand more than once, I'm liable to diss the next time right. and say fuck all them niggas. And it is what it is because you did. That's true. Because it's like what the you like you asked me once. Okay, like I'm like nah, that's my partner. It's cool. You ask me twice. I'm like nah, I ain't gonna watch the video. Ask me third time, nigga. I don't watch the video after you don't ask me a third time. Now I'm like nigga, what the fuck? I'm on ten now, nigga. Cause I'm hot. And you ask him, you keep on fucking asking me. So now I'm going to give you the fucking answer you want. Damn, fuck that nigga, dog. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that. Fuck this. Fuck that, right? And and that's just the energy that they want. And you giving it to them. But we all know that that's the energy that they want. Also, that the energy that they want to give off because it's all fucking content. You feel me? It's all fucking content. These niggas live off of content. I want him to pressure up. You dig it. And you know this my homeboy, so why is you digging with my homeboy, nigga? You know I talk crazy to my uh, to, to the whole world. I talk crazy off this motherfucker. When I'm talking to my homeboys, I talk with all the lingo. Don't think I don't. If you my enemy homeboy, don't be my friend no more. You get what I'm saying? Hmm? Nah. nah. Oh, yeah. You hear? Tight shit. All right, nigga, niggas better know. Niggas better be sure. Talk about yes, some man, nah. 
You feel me? You gotta know. I in do want to add. I 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 do want to add that when we had the conversation about the phone call on Here We Go Again, it was like a super chat. I understand and that. Flame no, no, he said no, that's he cool. not saying that. He's saying no, it's I'm just, like I'm becoming dragged on. Yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. But when but it, he, it he, came up on our yeah, show, right. strictly because the super chat. That wasn't flame, in our right. topics. But and me and this nigga sat the fuck up. But it got clipped. This course, it got clipped, right? I'm just saying. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. So I had to approach it as it being on your show because it got clipped. I understand. I know that you're not messy, bro. Not like that. That's the last year. Not what people hear. This nigga said, I know you know this. This is the messiest fat nigga I've ever seen in my life. Here. You rather talk about the rap beef between them two than talk the about records. me and him. Broke down the yeah. Exactly, right. right. So that's how I do know you. I, I, I haven't been watching. So I know that he'd rather do music, whatever. That came up, some messy shit came up on y'all show. You was that show, whatever the case is. He responded, great to have heard one of his homeboys Say some shit Jesus, on the right phone call, right? Now, right, right? right? We oh, clapped it up for him. Yeah, Bye. facts. I was like, that's good. <clears throat> and if, as soon as a nigga say, I don't want to see it, we not finna pull but it we, up. But we didn't have it loaded not, up or nothing. You know what, what I'm saying? Facts, facts type shit. Cause it's like, hey, say I want to see it, nigga. Oh, no, leave it. it at that type shit. You feel me? Right. Yeah. So look, bow, DW goes on another show and gets asked about it on home court. Oh, these both of these shows at home court. Right. First of all. I rather all the attention. I'm about to get to every. But see, but you gotta. But he, he, he said he know Adam for a long time. Which is when he say that, I know he's lying. Every time he says that, it's it feels like he's lying because for one, it's this shit right here that he's like unaware of. Adam, Adam does this to every single fucking employee. He does that. He did that to Almighty with the T. What did he do that to Almighty with? He did Tom Whitey with something. Just let me think about it, right? He did that to T Rail. He did that to A D. He did that to uh to Flacco. Flacco's still there. He did that to him. He did that to Lush. He did that to a lot of employees. He did that you know what I'm saying? Like he, he stirred the pot within the office, bro, and kept niggas talking about the same shit over and over and over. Instead of telling niggas, we're banning the topic. It's over with. Like we talked about it once, the head said it. The head people said it. It's coming down from the top. No more talking about this shit. But no, every fucking show that they talk, that they on is gonna be talking about this. Address this. Address that. Address. Nigga, how much time do I address? And I agree. Once you address something more than three times, do you liable to say fuck everybody in it? <laughs> Everything too. So fuck uh, everybody just give me in a second, guys. Let them land. So uh, this home base. I feel like anything that goes on with me should not be content because I'm really out here fighting cases and doing type certain shit no to where no that's no no brick you're wrong right there you're wrong everything with you is content now nigga you are content what are you saying you are on the biggest platform for content in the world right one of one of the biggest platforms for Hip hop content. You are content, brick. You rap. You're a little. You have a little bit of following. You are content. You trip and fall over a nickel. You're gonna be content tomorrow. You are content. So I disagree with that, but I agree with the fact that they shouldn't keep fucking dragging content on. Content is like. Once or twice. Like, you could talk about it maybe once or twice. But after three, four, five times, y'all still talking about this and the week has passed already? It's no longer content. It's disrespect beyond that. Literally. Yeah. I agree with that. But I don't feel like content. shit that goes on with me, we should even give these niggas the stepping stone to even. Because, Adam, you you bailed me out, gang. You, you know firsthand. So, like, I know that Brick Baby name go crazy and it's fucked up that we can't get the views that everybody else getting off of my motherfucking, off of my controversy, but I don't feel like home base. The 60s ain't talking about it no more. Nigga, pay attention. The only niggas talking about it is these niggas that don't have nothing going on that ain't from my hood that nigga want to be seen. Because he's an easy piggyback. Look, he just, he, he crashed out and gave names. So now... 
niggas is yeah 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 because really though really though think about this though think about this that little that little phone call would have reached well i guess it reached enough of the more impactful people in his life but like of like let's be honest in the grand scheme of things that ain't reach a thousand people they ain't reach three thousand people that understand what's going on all right but it's enough impactful knowledgeable people that would know about this shit that he talk about right that would be upset and then rightfully so if you was in the gang yeah probably you would be upset too right but like i said they grown men though at the end of the day and i'm sure it's better ways to handle what they got going on you're feeling that hire them niggas cuz i could go I made way more money, nigga. I I I clear over damn near seven hundred thousand a year, my nigga, without even touching the microphone, cuz. <laughs> that nigga is a liar. Let me see what lies bigger. Uh, either Cat Williams read three thousand books in a year, he said. I think he said, or this nigga clearing seven hundred k without rapping. What does Brick Baby do besides rapping? Podcasting does not constitute to seven hundred k. How? How is he getting seven hundred K off a of podcast? Like, oh okay, hey, then I'm kick, then I'm trying to kick down the right door, then shit. Cause if he's making seven hundred K in podcasting, then come on, man, put me in. I'm sure I can do better than Brick. It won't be as high. Well, they live in California, but still though, you know what I'm saying? But, but still though, no, he does not clear seven hundred K without. I got a nigga that can vouch. I used to bust zippers off of backpacks, nigga, when we was in Atlanta. That's what we, that was our goal. Our goal is to, but fuck, fuck, bust the seams off your pants. Let's bust, let's make sure that this backpack can't zip up, nigga. That's how we know we got enough. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm not trying to say that. I'm not saying fuck me, Mailbox let's go. Money. Nigga got to start respecting <laughs> that a real street nigga has came up here because his shit can't change. No shots to them other niggas that was up here. But Trail been clean for 10 years before he came up here. Nigga, AD been clean for 10 years before he came up here. Niggas they were well clean. established with, with, with the shit. Got here. I weeks. got cleared by the job. <laughs> the job saved me, I nigga. Told you, niggas took me off the street for Niggas real, for pulled real. me out the trenches. Thank you, Adam. Nigga, somebody believed in me. Why? That's why I said I love you, Adam. But I got to let it off my chest. The job saved me, nigga. Y'all looking at that? Like, goddamn, nigga, a nigga can't just do my job? A nigga got to act like I'm in the county still, nigga? The same shit that's been breaking me down my whole life? I have to do that while I'm at my job, too? I'm held to them standards? Like, come on, gang. That shit is weird. It's like, I hear what he's saying. It's like he can't win for losing. Like, he's at his job just trying to do his job, and niggas is reaching at his job. But, like I said, though, if he would have just kept the energy, like, when... When when D Dub asked for a fucking you know what I mean you know what I mean like he asked for that you know he should have been like hey what like he should have just gave a reaction even if the reaction wasn't the reaction from your heart you being in the gang politics you cannot let that fucking slide same that's what D W did now D W got so much more points than you now in his in his little representatory gang or whatever he's in or I don't know what he's in but right. But he got more points because it seemed, it looked like he stood on business, right? At first he was backtracking, but then he came out and said, "I finally got to watch the video." He kept the W. That's how he was saving himself too. He kept saying that he didn't watch the video. He kept saying that, so niggas probably called him like, "Then you need to watch the video." Nigga, you need to, and then he finally watched the video. Then now he feel like I have to stand on business because once again, Brick didn't stand on business when I asked him for it. You know what I mean? Not everything good. That's weird though. You get what I'm saying? Like, 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 nigga, tell him ain't nothing going on. He good, my boy. Yeah, I don't want to be that. You get what I'm saying? That ain't what I want to be, nigga. Oh, look, you see, I changed the narrative. When the last time you seen me interview a nigga or a hood nigga at that, unless it's my homeboy that just came home and wanted his exposure, I owe him one. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, nigga? I've been interviewing baddie after baddie after baddie. Putting the baddie on my show, putting the South Central baddie. I'm trying to make sure that I don't go into no fucking gang politics at all. But you niggas want me to. And it's a reason. It's a reason for that though, because like he said, he has pending cases, so he does not want to look like a criminal. 
on fucking like he's like arrogant enough to go on no jumper and just be like, yeah, I'm outside tomorrow. I'll be outside tomorrow and I'm gonna shoot like thirty niggas. Pay attention to live. I'm gonna be on live and I'm gonna like shoot run down and shoot like fifty five niggas. <laughs> he's not doing that. He's trying to like, kind of like branch off a little from from the image, not from him himself, from the what the people see. You feel what I'm saying? It'd be crip man. Mm. Y'all want me to bleed this shit on camera and that's not real gang banging cuz I want to see you niggas wear all blue every day and fucking put a rag around you and keep on doing all the shit that he's doing in real life out in y'all hood. Do that every day and stand on the corner, please. How many days you think they got, sis? Nigga got a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's... <laughs> Because even if you did that where I stay at, and it's like a bougie ass area, right? Right? If you do that where I stay at, I'm sure you have probably eight hours before either police police grab your bitch ass or the right nigga come by and see you parading in that bullshit and just have a having a fucked up day and just be like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, got a few hours. This ain't two thousand three. Let's be real, cuz. You can go to the sixties, niggas flamed up on purpose, my nigga. Let's be real. Come on, y'all know what the art of war is. Y'all know what the goal is. Don't nobody want to be stranded in that motherfucking war zone, nigga. Everybody want out, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? I've been shot in the neck, nigga. I've been shot in the tailbone. I've been shot in my bladder. Hey, you niggas ain't even been touched, nigga. I don't even know if you niggas really ran. Fast. Is that a, is that a, is that a, that is not a flex being shot three times, especially being shot in the bladder. That shit has to hurt. That is not, it's not a flex, bro. That is not a flex. That mean you are poor at picking fades. Does that mean you could have picked the fade and just knocked the nigga out? He probably ran down on you with a gatch. Fades before bitch. game. You gotta pick a real good Like, fade. please leave me the fuck alone, cuz with all that game bacon and all that, and to Long Beach. I got one more thing to address. See, he talking like four because y'all you know, taking it out of a proportion. I hate to get on gang politics, but since we are here and saying, this is the know, new politics, this is the new penitentiary. Y'all want to come to the four yard politic at the table? Go to Adam table, nigga. You can say everything hmm. that goes on on the four yard. Yes, this is what y'all turned this into. Whack and all you bitch ass niggas. This is what y'all let him in on. Cuz controls gang narratives. Cuz is a gang leader. He know all the shit. Cut know all about every DP. Cut know about every nigga who snitched from every hood. Cut know about every nigga who got marked out. Cut know about every nigga who got shot. How, how did we let this happen? Dead homies. Cuz is nigga. This is really LA. How are you niggas even sitting down and letting that happen? I go sit down and that been my homeboy way before this though. You get what I'm saying? Like niggas don't understand. I didn't just come work for Adam. This been my homeboy. But see, but see, I see. I understand what he's saying. How is y'all letting no jumper dictate gang politics? How? That's that's what I'm saying with the gangs out, them gangs out there. The new leadership ain't doing it right. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all ain't doing it right. Y'all ain't doing it right because there's. For one thousand percent, no gang member in my set. If I had a set, if I was an OG set leader from the fucking trenches, my nigga, nobody from my set would go to a platform like this and air out grievances with other gang members or rival gang members. That is straight up bitch shit, and they using you for content. Like what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? Cuz know a little bit more about me just because Cuz know me, cuz. I didn't come up here, nigga, venting to him. Cuz still got to get his intel through hearsay, gang. Now, if he approached me with something and I want to laugh about it, I'd tell him. Like, damn, did this really happen? I'd be like, right. And I might tell him a story, too. But me coming to air out my skeletons to Adam and vent to him, cuz, that's not the nigga I'm going to for that. So how did we let this be the round table for gang politics? I agree with that. But Long Beach, once again. I don't really agree with a lot that he's saying, but I agree with what he just said. 
When the fuck did No Jumper become the round table for poli- for gang politics? When there's places like community, fig community, those are where you can go talk to gang politics, but they rarely talk to fucking gang politics. I mean, t Rail probably talk a little gang politics with you, but AD rarely talk that shit. Rarely talk that shit. Pun rarely talk that shit nowadays. Rarely. You know what I'm saying? Unless they have OT on and they might talk some gang politics. Maybe might talk some gang politics, right? But that's where you would ideally do it at. For one, they have lower lower, lower subscribers that'll be like, and they like under the radar right now. So that'll be a perfect place to go sit down and talk your gang politics because like I said, they under the radar. Not this fucking platform where it's 4.5 million million subscribers as they keep saying right who's the, not to say that one of those subscribers is not a federal agent just like a person like me who's just a worker who p- a regular person like me who just a worker who watched this shit and just entrenched himself in this shit maybe he can make a phone call and say hey y'all niggas tripping they got niggas outside with guns out you mean sure the inside Insane Crip Gang, ICG, Trays. No moving, but y'all do the moving sign. Insane Crip Gang, not Insane Gangsta Crip. Trays moving. It's not that. It's Insane Crip Gang, Trays. Am I wrong? Anybody that's been from L.A., I'm not trying to say anything about it. I just need. Correct. All right. All right. So, boom. Me, the way he said correct, he don't my know. vocab is a little different. I don't, I, I, I use words for what they are because I'm trying to be a square. The way that nigga said correct, he don't know a fucking thing about gang politics. Stop it. Here. So can anybody pull up the definition <laughs> of off brand for me? He basically trying to say he didn't mean it in a derogatory no, term. No, I got it. I, I'm get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate to take over, but I have no. I need to do this because I apologize oh, to these niggas uh. because I do know in the gang world that off brand. Listen, it says the unknown. Not saying y'all unknown, unpopular or inferior brand of a retail product. So the, we gonna say we gonna take the last part. After- look, 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 look. Some of the off-brand shit be delicious. Don't get the off-brand cereal, right? But some of that off-brand shit be delicious. Don't get the off-brand pop toys neither. But like I said, some of that off-brand shit be delicious as hell. Oh. Spider was calling. But anyway, some of that off-brand shit be delicious as hell. What are you talking about? So it's just unpopular. Like, niggas don't know about it. Like... It's not really off brand. It's just unpopular. Niggas ain't heard about it yet. Once you become popular, you make yourself a brand name, then you become a brand. Now you're not off brand. Now you your own brand. So technically, he didn't say nothing too rough to where it could spark a fade, but apparently he did. So let's After the last comma, or the inferior brand of a retail product, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. The retail product is gangsters because that's the card, right? So, gangsters is the core. Breaking it down for y'all. You guys don't have gangster in y'all name, but y'all trades. We know trades and gangsters are one of the same, right? But y'all really don't beef with everybody that the gangsters beef with in LA, right? So, with y'all still being in the car on the streets, but running with Long Beach in jail, because also in jail, they don't sit at the table, they sit at the Long Beach table with all the Long Beach Crips. Anybody can stop me when I'm wrong, right? Like if you've been to the county, you know. County penitentiary, they're gonna roll. If you've been to the county, you know. He ain't been to shit. <laughs> in the 20s, they enemies. Just like we be with our enemies too, <laughs> that we're supposed to be our enemies I've on the street. There, they're all gonna be Long Beach. You can't get a fade from an insane nigga in front of a rolling 20 nigga. I bet you that, not in the pen. You get what I'm saying? They're a Long Beach car. The gangsters have a car. Bro, he is spilling too much beans on the on the gangster shit. He, this is not a DP that we witnessing of uh, uh, brewing a DP. This nigga is spilling all the beans on the inside motion of where the it's a gang of four trade cars. gangsters moving, five trade you know gangsters moving, four dudes gangsters you know moving, man. trays. They beef with neighborhoods, right? But then you got some gangsters that's even from Pomona that are also. 
beefing with neighborhoods and all that. You get what I'm saying? Mm. <clears throat> they're actually gangsters, though, so I'm not saying that they're off-bred because they're a part of the gangster court, right? Mm -hmm. You, I was explaining that he picked up the lingo because him being sub-associated, a branch off, I should have used a branch off the gangster court. They but on I didn't words. even want to talk to this nigga I was on the phone with. Bitch-ass nigga, the shit shouldn't have never been leaked. You get what I'm saying? Deshaun Jackson, you forced me on the phone with, cuz. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, come on, bro. Did he just say Deshaun Jackson? Wait a second. Deshaun Jackson. Hold on, wait. Did he say... Like, nigga, come on, bro. All the shit just blew up for no reason. And then, I never said nothing. This shouldn't have never been leaked. You get what I'm saying? Deshaun Jackson, you Deshaun forced me on the phone with, cuz. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga... The wide receiver? What the fuck is he doing in gang poly... Bro. Come on, bro. All the shit just blew up this for no reason. And then, no faith in gang I never said nothing disrespectful. So niggas want to pick at one thing that... Niggas is 5'10", 140 out here dictating gang politics, nigga. Like, what? Deshaun Jackson, what are you doing? Stay the fuck out of grown people business. Like, you tripping, dog. Made millions in the league and over here stirring the pot between gang members and shit. That's crazy. And I said, so let me crazy. apologize, though. That's crazy. I apologize for not using off branch. I apologize for the motherfucker thinking I call this hood off brand like y'all Duke Luke when y'all the biggest Crip gang in Long Beach. Facts. And I didn't squabble y'all homies. Niggas is every nigga swole in that motherfucker. Y'all niggas, I think y'all nah, got glazing. weight compounds in the kitchen. Nah, you get what I'm saying? Nah, like glazing. at the end of the day, off, I didn't squabble plenty Long Beach niggas. And we get it. We get it. You don't want to squabble D Dub. I get it. All that Crazy, shit man. just coming up and all that nigga as kids and we doing all that over them nigga being from, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they standing on it. Mm -hmm. If they was off Brandon Duke Luke when the nigga tell him, hey, y'all don't beef with them, why y'all put that on your name? And the nigga be like, oh, it don't stand for y'all. Nah, them right. niggas, because it is what it is. And they were squabbling yeah, LA they niggas over they Long Beach beef. Yeah. I give it up for them niggas. You get what I'm saying? They like run face like a motherfucker for that. For for for, for, any, for, for old blank anything. Old blank. They run face. They for running face. I didn't and see they it. Got with my RKs own eyes. and OKs. They got a gang of them. You hear me? Fact. You niggas be standing on business, baby. Web, cuz what up, nigga? You know what's up, nigga. Nigga, come on, cuz on all the webs, cuz come on, cuz I'm six zero flame. P nice, cuz nigga, come on, cuz savvy, nigga. All you niggas, bro, on the dead homies, nigga. Uh uh uh. I can keep going. You get what I'm saying? I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I can name home families and all that, bro. That's not what I was trying to do. Yeah. I'm talking to the weird nigga, explaining that y'all really don't have no ill intent to the neighborhoods, but due to y'all sub-affiliation, really nigga, he's more. picking up lingo from niggas in L.A., and now he's talking like an L.A. nigga when he really from Long Beach and don't be for neighborhoods. Wait, wait, wait. What's, so, the best way What's the difference? I thought L.A. was California. I thought California was L.A. What the fuck is the difference, bro? It's a difference between them. Cause it's I apologize, though, if y'all took it any other way, but that's what I meant, and I ain't just making it up. I really use that word for everything, bro. It's a part of my vocabulary, bro. He is you really get what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? I'm going to give YBG and y'all the floor, bro. I ain't going to take up the phone. I did have a music question for you, What's if you don't thing? mind. Would you be, will you be responding to a Big Sass diss record with a diss record? For sure. Okay. So we needed that. I was going to put a verse. Of course he is, fool. He 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 need all the damn publicity and clout that he can get right now because right now he down bad. And I don't even want to hear the rest of this bullshit that he got talking about because I don't care about no damn Brick Baby record. Brick Baby, Brick ba I ain't never heard a Brick Baby song. I didn't know he rapped until he said that shit yesterday. You know, until he just said some bullshit about he make money off of something, not even rapping or something like that. Seven hundred K off of off of shit and he not even rapping that's pure cap you n ain't the average fan ain't heard of Br brick baby so that's pure cap he is like in the podcast world he's new let's be honest he is new to the podcast world right and now like i was telling my wife after a year of you doing anything a any job it's like they just automatically want to phase you out if you watching this do the math in your head and see when when you was having problems at your prior job. When you reach eight months to a year, niggas start playing with your name. You feel me? Trying to get cheaper. You feel me? They trying to get cheaper. They trying to get cheaper. 
They're trying to bring in big deal to get cheaper. He ain't gonna be giving big deal to the increments that he gonna be giving Brick Baby. Brick Baby gonna crash out and be in jail on a violation because of Adam. And then Brick Baby said this some talking about he ain't gonna leave his kids for shit. Bro, you crashing out, you come here every day to fucking crash out. And and throughout this whole thing, I waited for him at the end to fucking glaze. Glaze the shit out of DW again. You said that was off brand. And okay, you didn't mean it like that. I see what you saying and how you putting it together, right? I see how you saying it and moving your words around like you thought about this. I get that, right? But I also feel like you was being disrespectful in the moment and you didn't know he was recording. If niggas would never knew you was recording, you would never ever said anything about this, right? You would never said and he in in a sense he's right though, right? I don't know how the politics is. I don't know nothing about gangs out there. I don't know nothing, right? But if you unpopular and nobody really fucking know you, you are off-brand version of whatever you are trying to be, right? Just like this jersey. You don't got a check mark on it, right? This ain't a Nike jersey. And if I go around telling people it's a Nike jersey, it's an off-brand Nike jersey, okay? So, so with this whole thing, again, he come back to it and he glazing. He started off strong, then he just... Ended up reglazing, shouting out niggas and doing that, doing that, doing that. Nigga, if it's war, it's war. But I understand why he just can't go out all out and go full out crash mode because these niggas will start a fucking war in LA and they wouldn't be alive to see the end of it. So I get it. So I get it. A part of me gets that and shit. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's niggas really just fighting over turf like GTA. This shit is like GTA. In California, the shit is like GTA. But you have to remember this in in real life versus a game. Once they pull your card, as y'all niggas say, once they murder you in the streets and y'all mama crying over y'all body, that's the only one you get. You feel me? That's the only one you get. And you got to think about, like, if you think about it in hindsight, I'm sure if they think about it in hindsight and look over it and say, why am I sitting here arguing and fighting over a hood and, as, and I know it's like cliche and niggas say this all the time. It's the hood that you don't own, blah, blah. You don't own nothing, blah, blah. But they're going to argue you and say, nowadays, they're going to argue and say, I own a house. What are you talking about? I own a house. Da, 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 da. When you don't even own a house, you don't pay. You didn't pay a, like, you you didn't buy it cash. You feel what I'm saying? You paying monthly for the shit. You don't own it. You just live there. You feel what I'm saying? So I never, like I said, I was this close to joining Five Dudes Hoover. You feel me? I'm becoming a rolling 60s crib. I was so close. You feel me? And I, and I'm not going to say that I'm just happy that I didn't do it because I still kind of wanted to do it. You feel what I'm saying? Still to this day, I feel like I should have did it. But I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I didn't do it because because a stupid reason for one was because I, I had to get jumped in and I didn't know what the fuck I was going to tell my aunt. When I come home with bruises and shit, she was going to automatically know I got jumped into a gang. She was going to tell my dad, but that was going to kick my ass. I already had it all played out in my head, so I wasn't going to join the gang, right? I, I, was, I feared my dad more than anything, right? Because my dad's Jama- real Jamaican rude boy, you feel me? So I never got to join the gang, but trust me, I did want to. Up, t- up until probably I had my first child, I wanted to go to California and join Rolling Sixties. So, so I get it, bro. It's passion behind this shit. But, but, you can put that same passion now that you're 35 plus, big dog. You can take that same passion and put it into your kids. Put it into your podcasting career. Put it into your rap career, nigga, because I ain't hurt you. And that's just respectfully, dog, respectfully. Respectfully, I ain't heard no Brick Baby song. You feel me? I ain't heard no DW song. I heard, But I've heard plenty of Big Sad songs. So it's crazy that they beefing with Big Sad. And I ain't heard none of that shit. But I heard majority of big sad songs so it's crazy but we gonna probably end it there and like i said i gave my opinion my expert opinion and it just ran down you know what i'm saying we just y'all y'all but y'all need to stay tuned to this channel and like comment and subscribe and for more content tomorrow we dropping another video every day we're gonna drop a video about one topic that we could just get into a little bit details of. I, I, I was I was contemplating to do three, four topics, but I think that one topic and to stay on it will be good for the audience to capture 
and you know what I'm saying, bust it down in clips and let y'all just react to it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who's involved behind the scenes because you you just see me sitting here in the living room. You know what I'm saying? And and the scenery is gonna change. This is uh this is right now temp, right? But you see me sitting here and it's just like me, but it's more than just me. You know what I'm saying? It's people send me content, people send me things to react to and all that stuff. So I'm really grateful for them and we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Remember though, like, comment, and subscribe to get more content tomorrow. A new video dropping every day, a new video drops. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.